Good morning, YouTube. It is a toasty 45 degrees outside, and I have a little dog in the back here. That's the 45 degrees. It is cold. So that brings me to my next conclusion is bass season is starting to be over, the tournament season at least. Start thinking about ice fishing. Uh, something I like to do as well. So what I'm going to do today is kind of look for some ice fishing spots, spots that are going to freeze first. And I actually brought my ice fishing rods with me. Seatbelt, got to put the seatbelts on. Ice fishing rods because I was missing a bunch of perch yesterday on the drop shot. They were just kind of stealing my my rubber baits. So I brought little uh, jig poles, uh, tickle stick and some other brand. And we're gonna see if we can get on some perch and some panfish today. Let's see what we got. So I was here yesterday and there's a couple guys uh, perch fishing or pan fishing. So I figured I'd come back and try this spot. Now it's a little bit Weather's pretty much the same, wind is pretty much the same. And what I'm actually fishing on is I think is a septic system for a camp that's off to my, my right over there. I think that's, I don't know if that's illegal or not, but. The other thing is uh, most of these little bibbits or whatever, I don't know if something in Swedish Temple is the company. Um, they're tungsten and they glow in the dark, so the more I leave them out in the sun, the brighter they get. And the uh, perch can see them a little bit better. There's the hummingbird finding them right there. Finally! I got one! Oh, it's pulling more than I thought. Look at that little rod bend. Big old bluegill. Look at the size of that guy right there. Look at that. They're bluegill, all right. That's why they're suspended. Like a little tiny mouse. There's one. Oh, it's a big one too. Well, everything feels humongous on this little rod. Rock bass. Species number two. There's a little better shot. There's me jigging it right there. See that? Sharp line, she would go slow up and down. So all the panfish are at the at the bottom right in here. Got one that one time. Yeah. Oh he's huge copper. He's huge. Now they're all over the screen. Got another one. There's another one. Okay. You get out of here. There's another one, Copper. There's another one, Copper. Aye, aye. Here they come again. I'm out on Lake Champlain. I'm using my Humbird, my Minn Kota Tarova, a couple GoPros, a 13 tickle stick, which is a basically an ice fishing pole, four pound test, and a little ice bibbit. Basically, vertically jig for uh, panfish. It's basically like playing video games. It's actually super fun. So with panfish, is they keep cycling around in the same kind of pattern usually. So there's cribbing behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a buoy over there. 
And what cribbing is, is a bunch of wood with rocks stacked into it to either protect something or um, make some sort of thing. There's one right there. Oh, I missed it. And here's a little bibbit that I'm using. So it's a... Uh, glow in the dark. Glow in the dark bibbit. What I call is a, it's a mustache, actually. I don't I forget who makes it. Um, if I want to find it, I'll put it in the description. Here's one, finally. That, that's a bigger one, that's staying down. That's Copper! Bad boy! Monster bluegill, by the way. The dog hadn't eaten it. So we got on a few of them today. Some perch, rock bass, pumpkin seed, bluegill, and no actual bass, but that's okay. That's what we were fishing for today. If you like what you're seeing, um, let me know, subscribe. Any questions about the gear I'm using, just let me know and uh, I'll put all the links in, in the description below.